Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, back with another Firewall Ultra video. No sooner had I put up the last one, First Contact Entertainment dropped a new tidbit, this time about the contractors. So they've updated the PlayStation Store and they've added a section with six of the contractors we'll be getting. Now First Contact Entertainment have already confirmed that those six are not the only six that will be there at day one. They're just focusing on those ones because those are the ones in the key art. You can see the key art over here. So those are the six ones they want to dive into to give you a taste of what they're about. So you keep scrolling down and you get to this section called Meet the Contractors. So meet the elite contractors that will join the action featuring returning favorites from Firewall Zero Hour and a brand new contractor, Havoc. So that's Havoc. They're putting this guy front and center. He's the poster child of Firewall Ultra. He's the new kid on the block. And his skill, which I was thinking was going to be a signpost to how everyone else's skill was going to be, seems to be more unique than I was anticipating. So Havoc joins the fray in Firewall Ultra as a brand new contractor with a background as a decorated former Elise military operative. He is well trained and well conditioned and is looking to make a name for himself in the world of private contracting. His conditioned skill, so the name of his skill is called conditioned, increases his resistance to bullet damage and deploys a mine once he's eliminated from battle. Now we knew this already. The interesting thing about this is that it's two skills from the first game combined into one. So his resistance to bullet damage, that was bullet sponge. Texas had that in the first one. That was her skill, bullet sponge. And then deploy a mine once eliminated was a skill called karma. I don't think it was nasal to any of the contractors, but it was one that you would unlock and you could add as, as a secondary skill. So that was the only skill that we had officially confirmed like months ago. So my thought was because his is two previous skills rolled into one that everyone else's would be two previous skills rolled into one but that's not what's happening here which is what surprised me the most. Uh, so here you got five characters from the original Nala, Fang, Mako, Node, and Skip. Node being the only DLC character that they're highlighting. He's kind of gotten a promotion to base roster. And you can click on read more to get a little blurb, like a little biography about their lives. It's interesting that they're kind of making a bit of effort to, you know, flesh them out story-wise. Does it point to them having more character in this game? I don't know, like, will they have little quips, little one-liners and something like that? I don't know, probably not. But you never know. Maybe in the PvE mode, seeing as they've really enhanced that, the x fill mode, Maybe they'll be a bit talkative or something then. You know, they haven't said that, but that's just complete speculation. So first one is Nala. Her ghost skill allows her to avoid triggering any enemy traps. And the surprise here was that this is the exact same skill she has in Firewall Zero Hour. Now maybe it's possible that they still keep the secondary slot, which is what I'm expecting, but maybe Havoc doesn't get a secondary one because he has two and one, I don't know. I mean, from the sounds of things, it's like, why wouldn't I pick Havoc? If Nala only has one skill, Ghost, and then obviously a second skill that you can add on, why would I want that one? Havoc could get possibly three skills, basically, you know? Next one then is Fang. Another one returning, and he's got he's lost his hair. He used to have hair in Firewall Zero Hour, now he's bald. His dexterous skill increases his reload speed. So the whole time, look at the picture, he's holding a sniper rifle. The whole time they're talking about how he's such a great marksman, I was like, okay, his skill is definitely going to be that he can like hold his breath or something like that when he's aiming to steady the scope. But no, it's the same skill he had in Firewall Zero Hours. So that surprised me as well, just by the way they were like talking up his marksmanship. Next up then is Meiko from Japan. Her ninja skill reduces the noise of her movements, making her nearly undetectable to nearby enemies. And that skill is returning from Firewall Zero Hour. They really talked her up into being like a psychopath now. You know, she's snapped, she's unhinged, she's calm and collected, but you know, she might slice and dice or whatever. And then next up is Node. In fact, he designed the signal jammer that many contractors used to this very day. I thought that was a nice little touch. This fella designed the famous jammy that we all know and love. His afterlife skill grants him the ability to detonate C4 charges after being eliminated. Again, same skill. However, Skip has a different skill. So the last contractor, Skip, his reinforced skill grants him the ability to carry an extra door blocker. So there you go, for the first time you have the ability to carry an extra door blocker. His skill in Firewall Zero Hour was to carry an extra magazine, I think it was, so just like an extra bit of ammo, which is fairly useless outside of the 
you know, the co-op mode, but even then, I don't think too many people use this. That was the only time I ever used skip. Uh, I think the extra door blocker is probably going to come in handy, especially in the PvE mode. If all this talk of like advanced AI is going to be correct, then you're going to be wanting to block off a lot of doors and stuff like that. So skip once again. Well, you know, obviously you can use that in PvP too. A lot of door blockers are going to be handy in both modes, it seems. Uh, but yeah, that's an overview of the six known contractors we don't know about anymore. Whatever other ones are to be revealed, you know, as, is there going to be new ones? Or is Havoc going to be the only new one? Are the rest going to be returning ones? It's, you know, it's all up in the air. There's still a lot we don't know and we're only six days out. And it comes down to Firewall, you know, it is purely about the gameplay. There is some kind of a story going on in the background, but it's, uh, you know, it's very... It's in the shadows. You have to really go looking for it if you want to figure out what it is. Uh, but I think it was worth looking over this just to, you know, to shine a light on what the skill situation is, especially with Havoc's skill, how he's got the 2 on one and everyone else has got the same. You know, obviously, Skip's changed for the better, in my opinion. Uh, but the Havoc one is interesting. Anyway, so we're getting closer and closer to launch. We're getting more and more drops from Firewall, from First Contact Entertainment. So, you know, might be, might not be long before I'm making another video again. So if you want to stay up to date on Firewall Ultra, then be sure to like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube and shite. So let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. And you can check him out in the description with the link to his website. Finally, let me give a massive thank you to my channel members, those people who are keeping this channel going. They are Purple Unicorn Ga, Muzz, Dead Eye Dan, I've never seen such behavior in the war room before. Shop PPE, Mr. 777, No One Knows, Movemaster Mick, Alva World League Commentator Cass, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Pete Hawkins, and Crumb. If you would like to become a member and join the channel as well and help out like those lovely people are doing, you can do so by hitting the join button somewhere beneath the video somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and until next time, please stay nice and ultra moist.